Hi everyone and welcome back to my studio. I'm currently packing up all the paper Nova boxes and I thought I would be taking you guys along with me. So in case anyone doesn't know, this month I started a new tier, or last month I started a new tier on my Patreon that is called Paper Nova and it is kind of like a stationary subscription box. So people who are sign up under this tier get a box like this every month full of yeah i don't know illustration and stationary stuff and i've been pretty much working non-stop on these for the past few weeks which is also why i've been kind of silent on youtube as well but yeah that's what i've been doing basically so we have already prepped all the boxes i just had been waiting on some sticker sheets to arrive so these right here which is what i'm doing right now i'm just adding the sticker sheets to the boxes and then packing them together yeah that's basically what i need to do now until we can then later today ship them all off which is really exciting this box right here is for swan crates by the way i'm going to be walking you guys through the boxes and what's in there and so on. So here we have the A5 print that is in there this month. It's a lunar calendar for this year. I thought it was fitting because it's the first box of the year. Then we also have a small postcard print, A6, just a regular postcard, the sticker sheets. Then we also have these stamp stickers and more stickers so one is this one then we also have this sticker right here and because she participated in my monthly patreon challenge she also gets this sticker which is my artwork that i made for the theme which was starlight and yeah, you can kind of see that there are the effects in the freckles which i really like so that's also going in here And then I'm putting everything into this little bag, closing it off with washi tape. And as always, I'm also adding an extra sticker to the bag. Then we also have this notepad that fits the theme. I'm also adding that on here and now I'm packing everything up and yes this month we have tissue paper that and washi tape that fits the whole theme I'm not going to be doing this every month it just was to kind of celebrate the first box but I'm probably going to be doing that again soon just because it's so fun and looks really nice then this is the ribbon that I'm going to be using. And I'm finishing it off with one of these. Right here. And I'm sorry, the camera is kind of shaking because my table is on rolls. But yeah, this is what the finished package looks like and then I just added into the box I'm adding the thank you card on top here and the charm the washi tapes and then also the little oops and then also the little candy yeah that's it The shipping label is on the back of the box, just so I was able to, you know, get a nice logo in the front. And yeah, this is the finished Paper Nova box. So I also have some older clips from the past few weeks of me prepping and everything. So I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just be adding them in here as well. If they are any good, I'm just going to kind of sift through them and see which ones work and which ones maybe are not as exciting. 
So yeah, that's what I'm going to add right now. Guys, look what just came. My washi tapes finally arrived. Look how many. I'm going to show you all the designs that I got. So first thing, what you can see all around here is my Duck Academia stamp washi design, which is yeah the first time of me trying to do something like this and it worked really well and I'm really excited about it. And we have 400 rolls of that in here, <laughs> which yeah, I've been waiting on these for a while now and they're just the last thing that I need before I can open my shop. And I'm really excited to put these into the shop as well. Then I also got these gold fold washi tapes for my Patreon parcels. Let's see. They are also a stamp design, but more, it's not stamp cut, just a regular washi tape. You can kind of see what it looks like. I'm going to make some nicer pictures and everything for my patrons and stuff anyway. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And then, okay, let's see. Down here, I have more of this washi tape. Oh yeah. And then right here, I have some other designs that will also go into the boxes and the parcels. So we have just these constellations. And then this, which is kind of like um, a star map or something like that. So those are the, let me show you the three designs that are going to be in the boxes and then also as samples in the parcels. Yeah, I'm really excited. They are finally here. Ah. And they work really well together, I think. Yay. So I'm going to kind of update you on the studio situation <laughs> for a second. So here is where I'm storing the washi tapes for now. These are mainly the stamp washi tapes and these are the ones for the boxes. And then up here I have some coloring books and some spare stuff and the stamps. Let's see what I have here. More coloring books, A4 and A5, and then also my remaining mermaid zines. More coloring books. So you see I have lots of them in stock so no worries everyone is getting one this time then just my regular random packaging stuff then in here i have the notepads so the dark academia ones that are up in my shop now and then also the valentine's or love themed ones that are also up in my shop i really like them Think they are really cute and yeah these are also just most of the stock that i have of these i have a lot more but these are just a few ones so i can just grab them easily when packing orders then here on my packing table i have obviously all my stickers and then i just kind of organize all my prints like this and have the note pads right here I'm going to also add some rolls of the washi tape here to also pack those just to kind of get ready. And yeah, here I have the extra stickers that I'm currently having in my shop. So every order is getting one of these as well. And I'm also currently adding like, for example, one or two sheets of this one or this one to orders then just as an extra, extra, <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, then I also have lots of these sheets to decorate the orders with. They are also all prepped already. I also gold foiled all of these. So that was a really nice afternoon. And then I also have the new tissue paper that is also ready to go along with the new ceiling thank you stickers. And then over here you can kind of see we have the 
I don't know, packaging area. I have a bunch of stuff here for the current Paper Nova box and then also for the next one already. I covered this one because these are the next boxes and I don't want to give away too much yet. But here you can kind of see already this is oops, an extra that I'm going to be adding to the next boxes. These are like Oreo shaped erasers. These are going to go into each box, which is really exciting. And then here I just have the packaging for my shop as well. Since with the washi tapes and everything, I'm going to be needing actual boxes instead of just cardboard mailers. So yeah, that's what we have here in this area. So also today I have a friend coming in to help me with these. We are currently making the washi sample cards. So Kevin is right now helping me put them onto the cards. So we kind of did this where we installed one of the washi tape dispensers with the tape. And then we just kind of, as you can see, just do the length of the table, which is roughly 50 to 60 centimeters. So that's how much sample everyone is getting. And then we just roll all of them up and put them in here and over here we have all the rolls that we're going to be using maybe not all of them but a lot of them since we're going to be doing 250 which is also why i have a friend coming over to help but yeah this is our washi sample packing station so i'm really excited because i just got my stick cap order it came in really quickly as well which is exciting I'm going to show you what I got. You can see um, I added the effects into the constellations on her face, which I think is really fun. So these are for the boxes and my $20 patrons. And I also added the effects to the constellations. You can kind of see, I guess, but also to the golden. And then this is the main sticker that's going into all parcels and boxes. So I already got a couple of orders and I also already packed a few of them and kind of got into the groove. This is my first time using boxes to ship things. So I had to kind of figure everything out, but now I think I, I got it. So I'm going to show you how I'm packaging everything. So first of all, you can see this is the tissue paper I'm using right now. This is like a star map and I also have matching round stickers to close everything so let's go through an order together so this one is for Leo in case you are watching right now they ordered a planner set so all the planner bundle so we have the thing the planner bundle comes in and then they also get the notepad and washi tape so I'm just kind of gathering everything that they ordered now they got both of my Valentine's Day sticker sheets I need to open this so it's a little bit brighter they got both of my Valentine's sticker sheets then both of the cottage sticker sheets as well a bunch of stickers and this notepad and now I'm just adding this as my extra sticker on top and here are my thank you cards this is what they look like I'm going to add in their name and then obviously also my business card and I put everything that is A6 in these pergamine bags, just so it's all nice and together, I guess. Then I add a typewriter on here. And pack everything up.
this is the yarn that I'm currently using. I think it kind of fits with the whole, I don't know, celestial star theme. Then I close it with the sticker. I'm using these cardboard boxes right now. Yeah, now I just need to add the address label and then it's good to go. Have some mail to unbox. I have two different Patreon parcels. This is from Pixie Sticks and this from Michelle Coffee. I think I'm going to start with Pixie Sticks because I'm really excited about the sticker sheet that she sent this time. It's cat themed and plants, so you know I'm all over this. And she also made transparent ones, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think these are the transparent ones. Just because I've printed with that kind of paper before, so I kind of know what it feels like. I think I'm just going to put one on this planner. I already have one of her stickers on here anyway. So let's test it out. I think it could look really fun with the brown underneath. Look. Or maybe not, I don't know. It's very subtle, I guess. Oh no, it looks really good. Okay. <laughs> I was unsure there for a second. Ooh, I really like them. Yay. Yeah, I'm really excited to use them. I especially like this one, just because it reminds me of Mila somehow. So yeah, these are the first rewards I wanted to open. And then we also have the ones from Michelle Coffee. Oh my, <laughs> look at these. So first, oh, first we have the sticker and it looks amazing as always. And these seem to be cat themed, which, you know, is right up my alley. Ooh. <laughs> oh, look how cute these are. Everything is cat themed. Oh, and then we have a Luna theme print with some holographic effects oh look how cute she is i feel like this kind of luna when she's purple and very light kind of reminds me of mila or this kind of shade of purple yeah just pretend it's her <laughs> especially when th when she's so thick you know i love this this is going up my wall i think I recently got this organizer for my sticker sheets it's like an a6 organizer and the, and the foiling that I bought for it is slightly too big but it works so yeah for example here I have some more pixie sticks sticker sheets and stuff and I just keep them in here for easy access I guess and so I actually use my sheet so you can see um, these were pretty much completely full when I put them in here and then I did some decorating and I finally used different stickers from my, she from my sheets, which I'm really happy about. So I'm going to start by adding the cats into this free spot right here. And then, yeah, you see I have a bunch of sticker sheets that I still need to use. And Having them in here, I feel like, is a good way to eventually use them up. And then I'm going to put these in here as well. And also, I just love this planner. It's really cute. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I'm going to step away just a bit so you can see. But this is the state of our living room right now, basically. So, hi Mila. So we have obviously Mila stuff, but what I wanted to talk about is this shelf. And then all of that. So right now I'm not really using this shelf at all. I just have my art box 
art box art books in there and i am not really using them as much i just grab them every now and again and then everything that is right here i don't really use at all the space is not used very cleverly yes she has just been fed <laughs> can you see her face <laughs> oh my gosh so i have all of the stuff that i'm using for patreon and the boxes and it's just kind of standing there all of the stuff and i want to now reorganize my stuff so that it is inside of the shelf and so we have a little bit more room i think i'm still going to keep the boxes right here but everything else will hopefully go in here and then also look a bit more neat i feel like it looks very messy and cluttered and stuff so this is the before and i'm going to update you once i'm done so here is the after it's the next day already but you can see we organized those to be more neat and now i put away everything from in here that i didn't need and we have in here everything for the new box and then these things are for the current box and i just made my books look more organized but that's it basically i really decluttered in those boxes as well these are only half full or something and then i have all my unused sketchbooks in here so i will hopefully use them at some point yeah and yeah this is what it looks like right now So Kevin just folded all the boxes and I just kind of wanted to show you what it's looking like right now. <laughs> we have them all on the table and my idea is or was to kind of lay them out all over the floor to kind of, or maybe half and then be able to put every item in them after one another. So take all the prints, put them in, stickers, put them in and so on. So I think I'm going to lay them, or 50 of them, out here so we can fill them. Maybe that's the most efficient way, but yeah, that's where we are at right now. Okay, approach is changing. That was a bad idea. But this is now what we have here. We kind of made, put everything on the table. So we take a box, put in everything into the box and then just fold them together and then once we have the sticker sheets which we're still waiting on because of the chinese new year once we have those we can pack up everything together but just to have this hey Mila, <laughs> to have this you know time advantage we are already prepping all the boxes that we have so far just so we then only need to add in the sticker sheets put everything into the tissue paper and then can just send them off so yeah, that's what we are doing right now. Okay, so there are a couple of things I wanted to show you guys. Mila's also here, you can kind of see her tail yeah, coming in every now and again. So a while ago, I bought this A5 planner. It's too big to fit into the screen, but you can kind of see, and I added some stickers as well. And I bought this because I wanted to make really pretty planner spreads. So yeah, I got this planner and then I, bought a bunch of stuff on Etsy and AliExpress and those kind of sites to decorate the planner and I got my first purchase yesterday and I picked everything up from the post office and I haven't tried or opened anything yet because I wanted to do it with you together you know once there's light again so I'm going to show you the inside this is a thank you card from my friend, by the way. Um, so first things I got, let me sit down. I already tried my washi tape on here. And yeah, it's just kind of this ring binder thing with just dotted paper. And I want to try to make really cute spreads, but I have to find some time to do that actually. So the first tape that I got is this one right here i think it's really cute and i want to test it out now then let's see what do we have next so this is like rainbow unicorn and then some twins as well i'm not sure 
I think this one is also really cute. I have no idea what the twins are about. Maybe that's from something I don't know. Then we also have this washi tape. Let's see. Also really cute. And then the last washi tape is this one right here. I don't know, I got these to use in my own planner, but then also, you know, just for some inspo. Because I usually only use straight up Dark Academia style washi tape. So typewriters and stuff. Maybe I will do something like that in the future as well. So let's see the other stuff that I got. So first we have the thank you card from the store. Then the first thing I got are these bare, very busy day cake <laughs> um, stickers and they are really cute. I don't know, I wanted something with this kind of style where there are basically very little lines and it's mostly shapes. I think it's really cute. I wish, sometimes I wish I had a style like this just because it's so easy and fun and cute. And we also have these angel heart, just regular heart stickers. And then in here, I'm going to open it up. And then we also have these bear stickers, also really cute. And then these, I don't know, bunny vacation stickers, I guess. I also just thought they were really cute. And just for some inspo and to use in this plan, I wanted it to be really cute and everything. So yeah, that's what I got. I just wanted to share that haul with you and I'm going to keep you updated on just future stuff that's going to be coming in. One second. Just as I was putting away my um, washi tape, I decided to rearrange my washi tapes and I also wanted to show you this one that I got from Helen Bücher recently. Let me... It's Ghibli themed, so Carcifer and then some eggs and a cat hair. So this is what that tape looks like. There's enough space on here for another one. So yeah, it's really cute. I also, let me grab it. I also got this really cute notepad from her. This one and some other stuff, really cute print as well. And yeah, just wanted to share that with you as well. I think I want to do like, um a uh, draw in my washi tape organizer that just has my favorite and the cutest washi tapes so for example this one that i have from mel stringer would be in there and then my mayoko washi tape as well has like gold foiling on there it's really pretty so those kinds of washi tapes would go in there and i also have this one from catnip and stuff so maybe i'm going to reorganize everything a bit oh yeah and this one this is like the washi tape that i barely use just because it's so cute and i don't want to waste it i know if you feel feel me on this one <laughs> also have this one from high color this is also really pretty so yeah it's kind of those are kind of like my favorites that i don't really want to use but use every now and again just because they are so special so yeah. Hi, this is Outro Zonia. Thank you guys so much for watching my new vlog. I'm so sorry it has taken me so long to upload this for the vlog. There was always just me waiting on something like the sticker sheets or the washi tapes in the beginning that I wanted to yeah wait on before I finish up the vlog. And then yeah, it took me a month to actually up loaded which i'm sorry about but yeah just making this vlog has been so fun and i have this huge new spark of inspiration and motivation to continue with the vlogs so yeah i'm really excited to show you the next box and what i already made for it and everything that's going to be coming in if you want you can go over to patreon to check out my new tier and maybe if you want to sign up for it I'm, yeah, again, really excited for the next box. It's going to be a cute cafe and dessert themed box. So yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching and I will be seeing you very soon in my next video. Bye.